Yo YouTube, welcome to R3 Garage and welcome back to a whole another video. As you can see, I got a whole bunch of mess behind me, but today I am on my Porsche 944 rear bumper. Now, these are my uh, headlight uh, liner majigs. Um, I'm going to have to paint these, so I'm going to get these, sand it down, hit it with some primer, probably like two times, maybe three. And then I'm going to try to disassemble this bumper right here. These two pieces right here on each end, I need to get it off and uh, repaint. Um, the color I'm going with is a dark shadow gray. Um, probably should have waited to reveal it, but why not go to tell you now? <clears throat> so this is going to be fun taking apart that 10 millimeter. I got like one... One, two, three, four, five, about like five, six, seven bolts that I need to take apart. So this is going to be actually pretty fun to enter. And as you can see, we got all this painted black. Uh, I'm going to have to hit everything like with one more coat. And then I'm going to get like some uh, 2K, uh, 2K clear, uh, hopefully this week, um, and hit it. I will get it today, but I need to sand some other stuff because I don't want that can to go to waste. Um, I know you have to use it like within 48 hours and stuff. And then <laughs> with my schedule and all that, I don't want to get the can and have it just sitting. But this is it right here. Thing. And this is the panel I did paint it. But as you can see, we got some imperfections. So I'm going to have to end up sanding this bad boy back down again so we can have a nice, smooth surface. But, man, you can see the pearls and stuff uh, in this uh, paint. And I really love this color. Honestly, nothing is, like, bad. Only thing I have to do is just paint this little area right here. Primer that in and do the wheel wells and man we are good of course this is another angle like i said i'm gonna have to hit this one more time with some paint but she looked good though i could fly away with this but i want this to be perfect as you see i probably gotta get that and then like i said hit it with two uh clear tell you guys the drill makes things 10 times better and they can make 10 times you know Worse, you know. So, guys, uh, we already got all the bolts out, and this uh, back bumper pad had uh, came off. <clears throat> anyway, this thing just slide off so easy, just like that, which I think is pretty cool and unique. But yeah, we're gonna end up painting this. I'm gonna sand it down. But I hit it with, I don't know, 120, 320, maybe. Uh, finish off with 600 probably and just go from there as we down to the bumper itself as you can see well i'm gonna hit this right with 80 real good get this whole thing i probably get to paint this back piece and them two pieces and oh man everything only thing i have to do is prime is just the hood that's the only thing we have to prime, and I have to prime the inner uh, fenders and all that. And then while I'm out here for today, I might just hit, go in and hit this and redo this. I might as well just go back and sand it down. But man, this coat looks so immaculate. This is everything dried. Like I said, we're going to hit it one more time. One more time. Then we probably try to focus on this engine stuff. Alright guys, so these are the painted items that we have. Probably hit it one more time, been at the sun this out. But yeah. Anyway guys, I'm gonna make uh this video a stopping point. Um, like I said, we just uh, did our rear bumper. Only thing I have to do is just sand it. Uh, like the main part, I got the two uh, side uh, pieces uh, that y'all recently seen with the headlight uh, housing liner or whatever you want to call it. 
But <clears throat> uh, y'all make this a good stopping point uh, video. As you can see, though, y'all see that imperfection and all that. The body filler I added on it, I didn't get it like uh, flat enough and stuff. So I really need to make sure that surface is nice and smooth. I mean, this is my first time doing body work and stuff, so I'm learning and stuff. So I'll probably look at a video or two. But if y'all have any idea uh, to fix this little issue, the body filler or whatever, the panel's supposed to be smooth, y'all let me know. And then, uh, it's, it's getting cold around here, so I need to get a tent to get, to get some tarp or something to cover this uh, area up and uh, to make sure it's heated if I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paint it. And like I said, I'm gonna hit this one more time with some white, I mean, some black paint. Overall, everything is looking pretty clean, new. Uh, I just need to get a new brake booster. I think the brake booster cylinder with a new brake line. Um, also, I just got some uh, parts that came in, only one. I need to get an ignition coil. It's really hard to find one of these for some odd reason. Every time I try to go to AutoZone or Pelican Parts, they are out of stock, the ignition coils. Uh, so if y'all know where uh, ignition coil uh, can be sourced at, y'all let me know. I mean, it ain't hard to find but i just need you know to have uh that info what else new um we got a new one coming and then we got a new rotary wheel uh coming also <clears throat> and then i'm gonna replace this uh probably don't need no i'm gonna replace it because i think the thing is leaking so i'm gonna replace this and then, I think that's pretty much it. I want to redo these brake lines. But anyway, we got the new parts in there. So hopefully I remember how to put everything back. Like I literally like took in everything about a part. So hopefully I will remember. Um, but that's gonna be it. Now I'm gonna work on this uh, Tahoe. Like I said, I got this broken, so I gotta get a new piece of that. And I'm trying to source some uh, heads. I'm either thinking about buying some new ones or some used ones. If I buy some used ones, I'm gonna have to go buy a machine shop and take it by. And I don't know how long machine shops take. So yeah, I need to get this bad boy back on the road again. But um, we just gotta source some more uh, parts for this.